Hello, this is Colin Goggin. I am a family doctor working with Unity Care Northwest, and today I am going to talk about how you can improve your cholesterol and slow down your aging. So you're wondering, why did your doctor check your cholesterol in the first place? Your doctor checked your cholesterol because they knew that cholesterol it slows down blood flow to your to your organs to the rest of your body and uh, we're taking a look at three things your bad cholesterol which is LDL your good cholesterol which is HDL bad cholesterol this LDL tends to lay down plaque HDL tends to take it away and there's this other component triglycerides which are uh, kind of like LDL, they're laying down more plaque, which you don't want. The reason why we're thinking about plaque is because it interrupts blood flow to your organs, and organs age faster when they don't get enough blood flow. They also, these plaques, can also erupt and send little blood clots downstream and when downstream is your brain that means you have a stroke and if the blood clots go to your heart then you have a heart attack you don't want that other things contribute to your plaque like smoking high blood sugar sedentary lifestyle high blood pressure and also your genes what I'm going to talk about today primarily is seven ways you can make your cholesterol numbers look better and decrease, and more importantly, decrease that plaque buildup in your arteries. Number one, decrease your intake of simple carbohydrates. What I mean by simple carbohydrates are those sugary foods, sugary drinks, candy, desserts, also things made out of white flour like tortillas, white bread, pizza, pizza dough, uh, also lots of breakfast cereals are heavily processed. White rice is another processed carbohydrate. You want, really what you want to eat are whole grains rather than processed carbohydrates. And here's, here's a trick you can use to figure out if what you're eating is a whole, whole grain. You can take a look at how much fiber there is and compare it to how much carbohydrate there is. For every 10 grams of carbohydrates, you should see at least one gram of fiber. So on the right, we see a total carbohydrate of 28 grams and only two grams of fiber. So that is a processed carbohydrate. And then on the left, you see three grams of fiber and total carbohydrate of seven. So that is a whole grain. That is safe to eat in terms of your cholesterol. Other thing to avoid is bad fats. Now there are two types of bad fats that you wanna look out for. Number one is trans fats. And trans fats are made by humans in a factory. Uh, they are made from hydrogenated vegetable oil and uh, they can actually get snuck into your foods. Lots of processed foods have these trans fats in them uh, like um, store-bought uh, cookies and uh, lots, of, lots of the frozen cookie doughs, uh, microwave popcorn. Uh, you might see a lot of these products that actually have trans fats saying that they have zero trans fats and the way that they get away with that is because if they have less than 0 0.5 grams of trans fats per serving they can claim that they have zero grams of trans fats but what you can, the way you can figure out if they have some snuck in trans fats is look on the um, on the ingredients label, and if it says hydrogenated something, that is a trans fat. You don't want it. But trans fats are not the only kind of fat you want to avoid. You also want to avoid saturated fats. Saturated fats generally come from animals that are not 
fatty fish, which we will be talking about in just a little bit. So they come from beef, pork, chicken, turkey. Uh, they come from things made out of milk like cream and cheese. They come from eggs. You want to avoid those bad fats, but you also want to get in healthy fats. And healthy fats come from nuts, seeds, olives, avocados, olive oil, avocado oil. These are good things to get into your system. They can increase your HDL, lower your LDL. One other great way to get healthy fat is to eat fatty fish. So what are these fatty fish? Well, I remember the mnemonic smash tea. Salmon, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, haddock, and trout. What else can you get? You can get fiber, especially soluble fiber, is going to help bind up the bad cholesterol and take it out of your system. Um, now, chia and ground flax, you get a twofer. Those have healthy fats and fiber. So if you can add those to your breakfast cereal, that's great. Psyllium husk is another great soluble fiber. You can add it to your water and slug it on down. Go, go for about um, one teaspoon to two tablespoons a day. Um, just add it, add it slowly because uh, it can lead to a little bit of intestinal cramping if you add it too fast to your diet. Other sources of fiber are beans, whole grains, veggies have lots of fiber. And speaking about veggies, it's so important to eat those vegetables because not only do they have fiber, they have these phytonutrients, um, otherwise known as antioxidants, which decreases inflammation, which improves your uh, cholesterol panel, decreases the plaque in your system. Um, I can't say enough good about vegetables. You want to get in lots of vegetables in your, in your diet. So enough about food. Let's talk about two habits. The first habit you want to get rid of if you have it. If you smoke, stop smoking. If you use electronic cigarettes, stop using them. And if you don't, then don't pick up the habit. It will decrease your HDL and increase your LDL and increase the plaque in your arteries. What you want to do instead is exercise. Exercise is a fantastic way to decrease your LDL. Just a moderate amount of exercise, like about the equivalent of 10 miles of walking or running a week, significantly lowers your LDL. And if you get in even more exercise, doing the equivalent of 20, 21 miles a week of walking or running, you're going to not only lower your LDL, but you're also going to increase your HDL and significantly lower the plaque buildup in your arteries. To summarize, you want to decrease the intake of two things. You want to decrease the intake of unhealthy fats. And those are human made trans fats and saturated fats. You also want to decrease the processed carbohydrates like the sweets, the desserts, the things made out of white flour. You want to increase your intake of three things. You want to increase those healthy fats like fatty fish, avocado, olives, olive oil, avocado oil. You want to increase the fiber intake. You want to increase your vegetables and take a look at your habits. Avoid tobacco, move your body, get your exercise in. So how do you implement this program to improve your cholesterol? I recommend that you do one thing at a time and then gradually add things on as you've incorporated one thing to your life. 
if you just take one step at a time and keep on improving your habits, you're going to improve your cholesterol and you're going to decrease the plaque buildup in your arteries. You can do it. I know you can.